Should I take my hat off? I guess I should probably take my hat off. Giants are jumping. Giants, bro. All right, hello everyone. Uh, so we are out here at a creek in the middle of the woods. We've got Zuggy fishing with me. His video, or his video, his YouTube channel will be linked down below. Uh, I know y'all have been seeing a lot of Miami videos, all that kind of stuff within the past few weeks. Those are from a very long time ago, months and months ago. All those videos were sort of on the back burner, I guess you could say. Throughout the summer, I gained, or not gained, I amassed a ton of footage. And when I got up here in Auburn for college, a lot of that stuff just sort of got pushed to the back because I got super busy. My lighting is quickly leaving. Wow. Uh, all that footage sort of got pushed to the side and I'm just now really getting into it. And as you can see, we're both wearing hoodies. It's already getting cold. It is literally almost November. Tomorrow is November. Yeah. So there's a lot of sort of out of timeline videos coming out. I'm trying to put them in order so they still sort of make some sort of sense. Long story short, today uh, we're out here today and we are going after some aquarium fish. I need some more fish for my aquarium right now. I've only got one green sunfish in there. He needs some buddies. We're not really going after size. We're not really going after anything specific. We're just going after pretty colors, pretty fins, pretty eyes, the whole shebang. Let's see what we can do. Let's get to fishing. Y'all, look, I literally, I literally look. was turning on my camera. Let's see if we look. can. Oh God. That's what, what I wanted too. That's a long gear. That's perfect. Oh, don't focus on me, camera. <laughs> Check that out. Look how tiny that guy is. He'll go good though. I don't think yeah. Greeny will eat him. No. So Greeny has a bad habit of eating everything that gets near him. I don't think that one's small enough for Greeny to mess with. I guess we'll find out. Hey, you want to take that? Um, this is how I bust my butt and get soaking wet. Oh God. Okay. Let's put her in. Let's hope Greeny doesn't eat Gerald. I don't think I've ever actually shown Greeny on my channel. Oh my, dude. No way. Dude. It's another, it's another long gear. It's a perfect size, dude. See if I can catch one. Mission complete already. I got robbed, completely robbed. All right, let's see what we can do. Oh my God, dude, that was not a small fish. I couldn't really tell what it was. It was definitely not a two incher. It'd be awesome if we could catch like a little spot. Throw him in there with Greeny, let him duke it out. Oh, there's my first. What are you, little bluegill? Of course I can't catch a beautiful sunfish. <laughs> Just gotta catch a little gillski. Gill, right? At least it's something. Little bluegill. Not gonna go in the tank because he's not necessarily. Hey. Hey, <laughs> not gonna go in the tank because he's not necessarily the uh, prettiest guy in the world, but it's a fish. At least we're on the board. Bro, they're whacking it. They just won't commit. Dude, you got a good size fish under you. You've got a couple of good size fish under you. That was a good one. If we can catch one of those and it's like a long gear, that'd be perfect. I think I'm on another gill. Dude, another bluegill. Not what we want. I just need one sunfish of some sort. That's all I'm asking for. I got something. Another bluegill. Bluegill number three. That's a bigger brim, I think. Is that a brim? Oh, dude, no way. What? Is this what I think it is? Dude, I've never caught one of these. I've only ever heard of them. This is a hybrid in between a bluegill and a warmouth. Okay, so see, he's got the coloration of a warmouth. Yeah. He's got the ear of a bluegill, the eyes of a bluegill, and the lips of a bluegill. But when you open his mouth, Look how big it is, that's dude. That's crazy. Hi. I've seen pictures and stuff, but I was like, oh, that's that's like created that's in a lab. Sweet. You know what I mean? That would be a good pet. Dude. Oh, oh, no, a yeah, he's going in the tank, bro. Like I was telling Zuggy, he's got the coloration of like a combination of a warmouth and a bluegill. He's got the eyes and the ear of a bluegill. And then when you look at his mouth closed, he looks exactly like a brim because of the thin lips, all that. You know, warmouth have really thick lips. But then when you open his mouth, it opens into a warmouth mouth. That's crazy. And he is going into the bucket. That's actually awesome. Let's see. I say we try to catch a few more long ear. See if we can get some more vibrant colors, you know what I mean? We'll give it about maybe 20 minutes-ish. Then we'll go home, stock the tank. See if Greeny will behave himself. If not, I guess we get a cool feeding video out of it. Oh, dude, that was a long ear. No that? way. What is that? Dude, that's a giant chub. What the heck? I haven't these in forever, dude. Dude, I hadn't either. 
Look how pretty that guy is. Guys, look at that little creek chub right there. That thing is sick. Chubby boy. That is awesome. Oh, ah. He does not want to be on camera. Nope. Dude, I need to look up like online and see if creek chubs do well in an aquarium. Cause yeah. that'd be a cool fish to have in there. Clean stuff. Yeah. Bro, you know what we need to do? What? That I don't think I've ever seen anyone on YouTube do. Creek chub catch and cook. I don't think I've ever seen that. I like it. There's probably a reason I haven't seen that. <laughs> Dude, Ooh, that's, that's him. One. That's him. Let's go, He's baby. He's going in the tank, bro. Pumpkin seed, right? Um, I don't know. No, that's a long year, bro. Let's go. Heck yeah, man. Let's go. That's the fish we needed, dude. This is Gerald. Boom. See you, buddy. Perfect timing. So now we've got hybrid bluegill warmouth thing, red breast, and a long ear. So we've got three different species, and greeny is a green sunfish hybrid thing. He's not a purebred, but we've got four different kinds of fish in the tank now, which is pretty cool. That's sort of what I was going for. Didn't really want too many of one species in the same tank. <coughs> oh God. So we're gonna get these guys back to the house, get them acclimated to the water, and when I see you next, we will be putting the fish in the water. Hopefully greeny doesn't try to eat them. We'll see. See y'all then. All right, guys, so sorry about the lighting. We don't really have fantastic lighting in my trailer, but got a scrubber, gonna clean the tank real fast, and then we're gonna get these guys into the water. He's definitely gonna bite me. Is that aggressive? Oh, dude, watch. Told no you. Way. This is why I don't really stick my hand in here that much to clean it. Oh, wow, my my camera's not even showing my noggin. Oh, wait, what'd you say about the drip thing? Oh, okay, so this tank is going to be uh, a little bit warmer water temperature than the uh, water that we got the fish out of. So we are going to drip, ac ac drip acclimate them, which basically just means you set up a little air tube type thing going from this tank into their water. And that's going to slowly even out the temperatures and make them a lot more comfortable and not as susceptible to shock when you actually put them into this tank. And that will also give the tank a little bit of time to clear up since we did just scrub a whole bunch of brown algae off the side. So we'll be able to see the fish a lot better. So it's a double win. Let's do it. All right, folks, so we dripped it for like 10 minutes and now we're ready to go. All right, so I think the first one we need to put in is probably gonna be one of the bigger ones because the small guy, the hybrid with the brim and warm mouth, he's a little small and I think Greeny might rough him up if we don't have something in there, you know, already. Agreed, agreed. Okay, little red breast guy. Here we go. Beautiful little fish. We got a name yet or we'll name him after. Yeah, we'll name him after we just need to get him in. Oh, he, hey. he's bigger in the aquarium than like yeah. what he looks like in your hand. He is he's freaking out a little bit. Good there's stuff. there's first one in. So the water's gonna get a little murky again. It did clear up a little bit, but we can show it later when everything yeah. sort of settles out. For sure. And just so you know, before anybody like comes into Zuggies or my comments and says, Oh my gosh, where's all the structure? So Greeny's been a solo fish for forever. He really like I used to have little tree branches in there and stuff, and he would never get under them. So I took him out just so he could free swim. But now that there are more fish going in, I'll probably put the tree branches back in there. But for right now, I just want to see how everybody you know, sort of interacts with each other and uh, gets along and then we'll go from there. That's the star of the show. That's Gerald, that's Zuggy's fish. Gorgeous. Such a beautiful fish. I've wanted one of these guys in the tank for forever. So very excited about this. Nice and easy. Oh yeah. Oh, Gerald's stuck in a rock. Gerald. This is the hybrid, the crazy brim oh, yeah, warm mouth crazy. hybrid. I never, oh no, not on the carpet. Oh rip. Oh God, he's going in. All so right. sorry, buddy. He's a really cool fish. That is really cool. So I think what we're gonna do now, let the tank, you know, clean up a little bit and yeah. then maybe you can break out the, the camera again and we can see him a little bit better, get jailed out from under the rock. He's a little stuck. But I think they're gonna work out good, dude. Mission success. I love when I try to get the cool B-roll shot of scenery, me walking down a path and then you got a loud airplane right overhead. It's great. So it's been two days now since we stocked the tank with the fish that we caught out of the creek and they're doing great. They seem to be interested in food, but they haven't eaten yet. I hope that I can possibly get them to eat on camera today, but at some point they'll get comfortable enough to eat. So I'm not really worried about that. Unfortunately, some of their fins did get sort of roughed up when they freaked out a little bit when I put them into the aquarium. Nothing that they're gonna get like a major infection from or anything. But the reason I'm out here 
today is because I wanted to get some sand for the aquarium and I wanted to get some driftwood, maybe some more little rocks or something like that. Most importantly, sand, because all of the fish that I have in that tank, including greeny, which I got from a totally different creek, they all come from a creek with a sand bed. Right now I have half sand, half like gravel type stuff. It's really more of like a pumice, which is a lava rock, which is really good for aquariums, but I just want to make it look as natural as possible. And since these fish, their natural habitat was a sand bottom creek, I want to get some sand. And I actually did find three pieces of driftwood already that I have in the car. I'll show y'all those when we get back to the house and we sort of throw all this together. But for right now, I'm going to get a few handfuls of sand. Okay, so I found this little patch right here. It is definitely not the cleanest sand I've ever seen, but it's cleaner than most of the stuff around here. Uh, most of this stuff has a lot of algae growing on top of it. I'm gonna wash the sand no matter what, but I'm trying to get semi-clean sand so I don't have to put a ton of work into it. And you might be wondering why I even bother washing the algae and silt and stuff off. Well, in this creek system, it's not necessarily that big of a deal. Let me get this bucket. But when you put it in an aquarium, it's a much smaller space. Uh, and while I do have really, really good filtration in this aquarium, a huge algae bloom is going to just spur up to the point where I can't contain it if I introduce a whole bunch of algae or a whole bunch of just nasty bacteria and stuff at one time. So that's why I'm gonna wash it. And that's why I don't want to have a lot of it in the sand in the first place so I don't have to do that much work and so I don't have to worry about it as much. Yeah, that's pretty good stuff right there. Oh, that's great. There's a piece of poop, I think. Bucket of sand. Got about maybe five pounds or so. It's really not that much for the size of aquarium that I have, but I'm not really looking to cover it super thick like the gravel in there right now. Okay, so we got what we came for. Oh gosh, tree limb. Got a few pieces of driftwood. Very lucky to find these pieces. You don't find pieces like this, this hole and this, I guess, pretty most of the time around here. A lot of the times our uh, pieces of driftwood are broken, all banged up and stuff, but these are really cool. But I'm gonna get this up to the car. We're gonna get everything back. We're gonna wash it off, try to make sure it's as clean as possible. And then we're going to sort of rescape this tank from the kind of lackluster tank that you saw a few days ago. So yeah, let's get this junk loaded up in the car, get back home and get to aquarium scaping. I have a picture of what I want it to look like in my head. Don't really know if it's gonna work out, but I think it will. Ready to roll. I have gone ahead and cleaned up all of the gravel, the old sand, and I've taken the fish out of here and put them in a separate bucket of water because I didn't want to stress them out any more than they already will be. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show y'all all the materials I'm working with, and then I'm going to put them all in here, probably make some sort of time lapse type thing. And then when the end product is here and it actually looks somewhat in order and you can see into the tank because I've got the lid closed and all that jazz, then I'll sit down, talk about it and talk about what I hope to do with this aquarium because I'm already thinking of things that I might want to change in the future. So as far as materials go, these are the rocks that I had in the tank already. I'm going to reuse those. There's nothing wrong with them. And then these are the pieces of drift Wood that I got from down at the creek while I was getting the sand. So I'm really excited about these. I'm gonna get to scaping this tank. And when I get done with all this and the fish are settled and the water's clear, I'll pick this back up, show y'all the end result. Let's get after it.
it has now been a little over a week and as you can see it is looking amazing water is crystal clear this tank has absolutely no problems except for greeny the only fish left is the long ear sunfish and that's because that's the only fish that greeny seems to get along with and i'm not really sure if it was out of territorial aggression or if it was more of i want to eat you but either way he was just being extremely aggressive so i took them back to the creek that we caught them out of and released them so for the two fish that i have in here right now everything seems to be going good gerald does still have some roughed up fins but they seem to be healing back pretty good and he started to take food pretty readily a few days ago and greeny's just greeny And that's gonna be about it for this tank today. I do hope to make a lot of videos about this in the future as I get more fish that I guess hopefully get along with Greeny a little bit better than the last ones. Crawfish, shrimp, snails, uh, maybe more pieces of driftwood, cooler pieces of rock. I don't really know what we're gonna do with this tank. I just know that it's gonna be a pretty cool process to get this exactly where I want it to be. But right now, it literally looks like I took a piece of the creek out and put it in this aquarium which is exactly what I was going for. So for right now, I am extremely happy with this. I just wanna say thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. I had so much fun filming this, fishing for the fish, doing the aquarium stuff. All of it was such a blast. And if you like watching this kind of stuff as much as I like doing it, please hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to smash that subscribe button right down there. And leave me a comment in the comment section down below if you have an opinion on what fish I should try to put in here. Again, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope every single one of you out there are having a great and fantastic day and i will be seeing you later look at that is on quick side note sorry for the complete lack of enthusiasm it's currently 2 39 in the morning and i am extremely tired i wanted to get this video done so sorry for the lack of enthusiasm on the outro but we got it